The year is 2030. A mysterious disease infected all humanity in a matter of hours. The infected have blue blood. Oh, they're royalty? God damn. If they die while being near to another person, their soul possesses that body. Ooh. Those persons whose body has been possessed by an infected die forever. Oh no! Tragic. How about to die forever instead of just dying temporarily? The origin of the disease is still unknown. Ooh. Wait, you're 30-30? Wait, was it 20-30 before? I'm sorry, the video didn't kick in until... Okay, I guess we're in here. <laughs> this game is called Die Again. <laughs> I don't know if this is the demo, early access, or anything like that, but we're, we're in, and we're gonna play, and it's like an action-y, shooty game. Anyway, wait a second. Oh boy, sorry, the music was super loud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I don't know who we play. I don't know if we, we must be playing Steiner. Sorry, because we respond to this query from Twan. Steiner, do you copy? Over. Why would we even say I don't receive you? <laughs> no, don't, didn't hear a thing. Nope. Who is this? Loud and clear. I must remind you of your objective. Yeah. Oh, you must free the red blooded one. Do you have any more questions, Steiner? Oh, that's it. That's the most vague, bloody dossier I think I've ever read. I mean, that's literally all it says, do. Find the red-blooded one. End mission statement. No, thanks. That's great. That's super to have that much information. How will I distinguish that person? You want me to go lop off a few fingers? And see what color he bleeds? How do you want me to do that? Shoot him in the face? Should be locked somewhere. Don't worry, it won't attack you. Well, that's good. Because everybody else will. Essentially. I will not contact you again until you leave. Good luck, bud. Thanks, Twan. I'll see you again soon. Probably, hopefully, maybe. I won't die. I remind you of the plan to enter the facility. You must crash the plane with you with the designated... Po Hang on, sorry. The plan is to crash the plane. That's the plan. The plan is to crash... The plan is to crash the plane. If everything goes according to plan... Crashes are never part of a plan. Stop saying plan. There should be someone there, so you will die and go to his body. You want me to crash the plane and die so I can move into the next person's body? Remember? That's what we were just talking about, right? You can pass into other people's body. I'm a little bit hazy on all of the details, because it says if someone gets infected by... Sorry, possessed by an infected person, they die forever, so... Is it my consciousness that's going between bodies then? Who is the original me? Is the original me Steiner? And once I crash this plane, Steiner's body's gone. I'm gonna be in someone else's body and they're gonna be gone forever. I take over them? That's... That's terrifying. That's terrifying. You've arrived, get in now. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> let's do it, the, let's do it, the, let's do it the man anyway. <laughs> Kaboom. All oh, right, reached the end alive. Oh, reached the end. I thought I said reached, as in we, we already reached the end. Oh, my head. What an impact. Focus Steiner, you must remember the basics of combat. Oh, yes, in order to move, I must use the wizard keys. And aim by moving the noose. You shoot, I must have to press the left mouse button. Good, good. So far, so sensible. I like that. I like a nice sensible control scheme. All right, yes. Uh, to switch weapons, oh, I can't shoot with zero bullets in the magazine, as indicated in the lower left. Oh, cool, so I've got 30 bullets. To switch weapons, uh, press E. I can only do it when I'm near a bright weapon. Oh, so you have to switch, you can't bother one weapon at a time. One weapon at a time, you, you haven't got a rotatey system. And to kill, um, this is to body hop. You can, you can, you can, I don't know, blow yourself up or press the right mouse button as long as I have my bullets left. Oh, man, really? Shoot yourself with that. Oh, my gosh, that's grim. It's grim, but whatever it takes to survive in this weird and wacky future. Um, oh, if I die, if there's someone nearby, I'll possess their body. But if there's no one, I will die for good. If you die in the game, you die in real life. I don't know why I said game that way. Game. If you die in the game. If an enemy dies, they will go to the neighbor's body. If there is any, if not, they will die. So that means, like, the same enemy could survive for a long time. You could shoot and they could just go, hoop, hoop, hoop. Interesting. 
I think they can take you over too, so you have to make sure you kill people from far enough away, I guess? Alright, let's do this. Oh, sorry, the objective of the level P is above the left, I'll have to fulfill it. Let's do it! So, is this all the... That's the same... This is all the same gun. This is just to make sure you've got plenty of ammo, but why can you not just have ammo? How, how do I open the door? Oh! Oh, wait, is he going to open it after I've shot it? No? How do I... How do I open the door? Holy shit! Wait, nobody told me there's going to be... Ah! Where? How do I... Nobody told me that there was... Oh, you got to... Is that literally how you have to do it? Oh my god! Steiner, remember about the squads. Wait, what, am I talking to myself? Steiner to Steiner! Come in, Steiner! Can you hear me, Steiner? If I'm in another body, like now... Enemies that have the same colour as my mask will not attack me when they see me as long as I don't do anything weird. As long as I don't do nothing weird! Which is hard for me because that's all I know! Because I belong to their squad. If I'm in another body like now, if enemies... Okay, so I can now... I'm, I could be like surreptitious about this then. I can just kind of stroll. Hi. This isn't the same. It is the same mask. What's up, Bob? How you doing? Doing good. Awesome. Oh. Oh, cool. I win. Yay. Okay, Steiner. Now starting to get into the real combat. To shoot. The right mouse. The right mouse button. Wait, it was left before. Oh, both enemies and I will die with one shot? What? In my case, if I don't have anybody close, game over for me, or if someone is nearby, I'll go with their buddy and mine will die. On the contrary, if an enemy dies and I'm too close, their soul will go to my body and kill me. Change in the subject, notice that not all the weapons shoot the same. How do they work? Mainly, the assault rifle has a high rate of fire and about 30 bullets. The shotgun has 8 bullets, and despite not being very accurate, the bullets can reach several enemies. Yeah, scatter shot, baby! There are more weapons, but those are the most common. Oh, cool. There's more weapons, but I'll just tell you about two of them. This sounds good. That sounds fine. That's enough. Let's go! Rah! Leroy! Sorry. So, oh, shotgun and... Okay. Do, 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 do. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Sweet. I mean, I don't know what the... F Is the red line... The kind of barrier, the the the, uh, the boundary. If I kill someone within that red line, they're going to possess me and kill me, be dead, kill, kill me, be dead, super dead. That's even more than dead, but dead. It's like it's 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 super 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 dead. Uh, I'm about to arrive. Just have to face a few more guards. Oh, their behaviors. They can attack in two different ways: keeping distance and attacking from afar, or getting close to me and killing themselves to possess my body. You sons of bitches! Won't catch me doing it that way unless I like super need to. Like that first level. Also, if two enemies of different two different squads make contact, they will try to kill each other. I can take advantage of it. What kind of base is this that we're in? That there's different like warring factions wandering around. No, oh, okay then. Almost there. We can do this. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. What is this? Oh, it's just a shotgun. Look like something better than a shotgun. Okay, so now I need to. Bam. Okay, how do we know when they're dead dead? Am I good? Am I safe? Oh, I guess I am. I don't know what the time limit is for them being dead dead. Hey! You're too far away, sucker. Stupid moron, you thought I was still close enough. Why did you do that? You wasted yourself, dude. Haha, <laughs> loser. Um oh. Oh cool. So check me out with my funky pants. Oh, I've got an ass. <laughs> Quite the ass. Uh hi. Hmm, could this be the red blooded one? Puh, like hell. Don't look like he's got red blood. Do we just choose any and it's the right answer, essentially? I'm gonna go with you. Got a good feeling. Alright, so what? Huh? Now I'm in control of you. Hello? Is anyone there? Person right in front of me, are you there? 
Sorry, nobody here. The sarcasm options are just astounding in this game, I've got to say. Hello there. Uh, you can call me Steiner. Are you the one with red blood? Uh, sure. I'm not going to say no, am I? Yes. Then I have a proposal for you. Do you want to get out of here and discover the origin of blue blood? I could just sit here and rot, I suppose, with my one toilet between flipping eight beds. Yes, I want. I do not want. Yes, I want. Yes, want. Perfect. Then forget about spending your life with between four walls. You and I will discover the origin of the blue blood. And all its dangers. Oh, you, you tack dangers right at the end of your speech. I see. You get me all riled up and excited for it and then throw in that there's danger. Okay, let's do it. Nothing to lose, really. So I'm going to get you out of here and we're going to find out why you're the only person with red blood. You still haven't really... For sure, I've figured out that I've got red blood. Although I've got the red stain on the front of my tank top, which maybe that was the hint. Maybe that was the hint. Ready for the adventure? Let's do this! More tutorials? Super. I don't mind. Uh, use A and D buttons to select a level. Oh, cool! Oh, so we've come from the tutorial level to First Blood. We've suddenly entered a Rambo movie, and considering the game is mostly about blood, that seems very apt. Let's do this. Oh, my God. Check this guy out dancing around the fire. Oh, it's Twan. Nice to finally meet you, buddy. Hey, you must be the red-blooded one. I'm Twan. An original. He's OG Twan. An original? What do you mean? Oh, I'm someone who's lived since the beginning of the Blue Blood incident. That's why I'm over a thousand years old. Oh, so you were around in 2030 when this all kicked off. That's awesome. In this group, Steiner and I are the only originals. Rare to see two together. So you can call yourself an original if you just survived from the very beginning. And you can keep surviving by just swapping to another body. So even if you get to old age with one body, you can just, you know, just blam and then as long as someone's close you can move into them. Willing or unwilling. Mostly unwilling I guess. Unless you became some kind of like like kind of dirty level kind of heroes and someone would willingly let you take their body over. I don't know. It's still a bit sketchy if you ask me. In addition, Stan has told me that you have red blood. That seems impossible, but I believe it. If only one person has red blood. If only one person, how would you expect to cure this illness? Although are you trying to find the origin of blue blood, if you find the origin of it, can you eradicate it somehow? How? I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I'm not going to question too much. It's game. It's sci-fi. It's fine. It doesn't have to make that much sense, right? Um, give me nothing but problems. Being the first human person in a thousand years is to be a lucky one. I'll say that it probably is probably not my problems because everyone's want to probably cut me open and look at my guts and stuff. Sure, since the world changed, it's become a much more dangerous place to live. Yep. Calm down. In this group, only Steiner, you and I know that your blood is red. Did you hear that? Only Steiner, me, and this person here who has red blood know that she's got red blood. Did everyone hear that? Only us three know, nobody else. Do you have any more questions? How will you survive for a thousand years? There was a question on everybody's lips, to be honest. The originals are increasingly rare, and each one survives in different ways. But we all have one thing in common. We don't care if we take other people's bodies. <laughs> we die and change younger bodies, obviously. I mean, how else? You, know, you don't live to a thousand years normally. In my case, it was thanks to the war. I was a mercenary for many centuries. Still being alive demonstrates my ability, so don't mess with me. I will take you over in a hot second. I've been a woman before, so don't tempt me. <laughs> hmm. Living at the expense of others' death. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just saying. Anyway, no, let's just play nicey-nice. this case, I wouldn't want to have you as an enemy. Ah, huh? okay, I'll just leave you to your dance and... hippity hoppity Varia? Hello? Hello? Duh. You're not very talkative. I was waiting for you to say something, because I don't know who you are. Oh, you're right. I don't blame you. I would have done the same. I will introduce myself properly. After all, we will travel together for a long time and distance. Sounds like a good idea. My name is Varia, as it appears on the screen. <laughs> oh, brick in the fourth wall. I love it. Like the whole group, I'm traveling to the great city of Hots. Hots? 
Hort. Um, yes. I don't know what Hort is or where it is. Hort is a great city. Hort. Where there's no restriction to enter. So it's the only place where a person like me can live safely. It's the only place where there's no chaos. In addition, I'm lucky to travel with two originals. You are very lucky to be travelling with one dancy pants possibly crazy person and one I don't know is he over there yawning is that Stein in there he's stretching and yawning yeah they're fine examples of of, of, of gentlemen I have to say <clears throat> so we'll arrive safe sure cool all right who have we got here this is Shald good morning uh, I'm Shald such an ugly name. Um, nice to meet you. I'll just keep the other thing in my head. <laughs> Welcome to this group. We are traveling to Hortz. Oh, good. You obviously didn't hear what Varia just said to me. That's, that, that's good. I mean, literally, now I'm thinking about it. That's good that he didn't hear what Varia just said to us about going to Hortz. He obviously didn't hear it, which means that Varia didn't hear Juan yelling that I've got red blood. So that's good. That means it still is just a minimal amount of people that know um, we all have different reasons I work transporting illegal goods with Vic that dull that dull not, not the best insult stick ARD on the end dullard and then you've got a proper insult okay are these goods dangerous not while we handle them the dangerous thing is the trip to Hortz since we'll travel a long time together, do you want to know some tips to survive? Sure. Don't feel like dying for, for definite, right? Perfect. If you look closely, you'll see that the masks of the enemy share the same colour. Well, they don't, though, because they've got different colours, but I kind of know what you're trying to say, I think. Now that you say it, you're right. Well done you for being correct and observant. When two people with masks of the same colour cross each other, they won't fight because they belong to the same squad. You could take advantage of this by passing between the people of the same squad unnoticed if you wear a mask of their colour. However, if they see you committing suicide or shooting, they will attack you without hesitation. Right, good. Good to know. Fantastic. Seems logical. Although remember, if the colour of your mask is different, they will attack as soon as they notice you. And why does this happen? I'm sorry, I'm just going to play dum dum on purpose here. You cannot trust anyone even if they have a familiar body. That's why squads are formed. They are small groups to defend themselves. Thanks for listening to me. I hope we chat more during this trip. Sure, I'm sure we will. This isn't Stein, he's over there. Uh, I thought he had like one arm. He's got one arm like up like this. <laughs> All right, um, Vic, what are you looking at? I'm looking at you, duh. I don't know you at all. Well, I still don't trust you. Ah, well, you can call me Vic. Hello, Vic. Well, let's get started. We're traveling through areas without civilization or laws. Only the law of the strongest prevails. When we get to the big city of Hurts, things may change. And above all, don't trust your life to anyone. Can I trust you? Ah, I admit it. You're fun, but... I haven't lived more than 40 years. However, in the past, everything was much more alive. Yeah, it does look like a bit wastelandy. At least the trees are still kicking. Because of our conflicts, we destroyed everything. And these masks are the reminder that we have not changed. What happened? For now, I'll tell you a little about what happened in this world since the beginning of the whole Blue Blood incident. Good, yay, let's get a little bit of law under our belts. The first years were a total chaos. There were a few, but it was absolute war. Wait, what? Huh? That doesn't... What the hell? Huh? What? Let's just stick with the first years with chaos. Yeah, an absolute war. All right, I got it. Even weapons capable of destroying tens of kilometers were thrown. Throw... I'm going to throw this big rock. <laughs> tens of kilometers isn't that impressive compared to what some of the weapons we know can do. That are, you know... I don't know, actually, tens of kilometers, if we're talking like 60 kilometer radius. Yeah, that's pretty decent, I guess. Decently horrifying. 
Currently, the environment has not recovered from the destruction of those bombs. Then, a slow recovery began, where the few survivors formed groups. The most successful was the Ney Empire. Ney! Followed by the now called Great City of Hurts. If you'd like to hear more about it, but I, oh, I'd like to hear more about it. Even though I'm the one telling the story, I love hearing myself talk. But I need to sleep a little more. Someone must watch at night. Alright, Vic, nice to talk to you, Birdski. Uh, and Steiner. Good morning, I'm Steiner, the one who saved you from that hellhole. I remember you. Don't worry about it, I will never forget that hair. Uh, before I start telling you about the situation, I hope you talk to everyone in the group. They will accompany us, accompany us throughout the journey. Yep, talk to everybody. Okay then. Now pay attention, you're just going to believe that. Talk to everybody, it's cool, don't worry about it. Don't, no double checks here. We're going to travel to the Zero Zone. Ooh, alliterative, I like it, the Zero Zone. Where the Blue Blood incident started. However, nobody knows where that place is. Cool, we're going somewhere we don't know where we're going. <laughs> Do not despair. On the way to Hertz, there's a Ney Empire laboratory. Laboratory. There is where an original scientist is. I know that she can guide us to the Zero Zone. So we're kidnapping her to get this information. Can we not just ask? Do you just go just dive straight in with the kidnapping? We know someone knows where we should be going, so we're just gonna go in there, gag them, chuck them in the back of a truck, and just force them to take us when they might be totally willing if we just ask them. Cool, that looks difficult. Ah, the worst of all is that the Empire may, will be after us. They will or they may? I'm gonna go with will be after us. All right, yeah, wait, hang on. So if, if, if this scientist works for the Ney Empire, then yeah, okay, then they probably just won't go willingly unless the Ney's been treating them like shit. Also, along the way, I'll do a favor to Twan. However, now on the way, there's a bandit camp. I must kill them all to clear the way through. Because, yeah, of course you do. Can't we just take another path? We can't waste time. It's risky, but we must go through them, not around them, through them. No mercy, no quarter. Then uh, I will go alone while Twan watches over the camp. Good luck and don't die, please. Hey, motherfucker. It's the Alcohol Police. Okay, so straight off the bat, I guess I have to... Uh, wait, is there anything else to see? No. Okay, so I have to just kablooey. Alright, so... If I have to kill them all... I guess I have to kill them all. Uh oh. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, oh no! Try not to die again. All right, jeez. Good grief. Good gravy. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, fuck. Are you that dumb? Oh, well, they can't be anywhere near the front door, I guess. Oh, sweet. Oh, wait, okay. I thought that was actually all of level one. Just one screen. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Ah, I see you. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, my God. Okay. Clicky. I'll have all my ammo back. Thank you very much. Hello? Anybody else home? There's plenty of guns. Tell you what. Oh shit. Oh my god. Woof. Crushing it. Crushing it. Come on, I can get you from here, can I? Oh, lovely angle. Oh shit. Just gonna swap that one out. Thank you very much. This is a nice little kind of. Um, like ease into the mechanics and stuff like that after the tutorial level, it's pretty good. Oh, are you trying to guard that door? Blap, blap, blap. Blap, blap, blap. Oh no, I shot myself! Whoa! I pressed the. Oh, I did it and filled at the same time. That's fine. I did it. Necessity. Necessity good! Necessity good. Wastefulness bad. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. 
I, I really like this. This is a very nice little interesting concept. Um, um, there's just there's a few grammatical hiccups here and there, but I I always uh, forgive it as long as you can still follow the story and you can still follow the story. So that's that's that, that's fine. Um, could do with a little bit of cleaning up, but the gameplay is there for sure. It's going to be interesting to see how it kind of ramps up in difficulty because uh, I don't want to say I found it easy, but that first level is only level one. It's only level one. Watch, I'll get to level five and I'll be screaming and pulling my hair out and throwing things at the screen. So we'll see how difficult it gets. Um, but this was a nice little little toy in the water kind of test. So um, we'll come back and, I'll, and, and we'll play some more of this for sure. Uh, if you want to play it in the meantime yourselves, uh, the link is in the description below but i'll definitely back to play however many other levels there are i didn't really check but we'll see we'll see we'll see when we get there okay don't forget to bump the like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed my first little venture into die again um and don't forget to ring the notification bell too if you want to make sure you don't miss out on my uploads as and when they go up um, Alright, if you have any game recommendations for me, or if you just want to have a bit of a general chit chat, then have it in the comments below. Or you can catch me on the social medias, uh, which are also linked in the description. Alright, I have been Mikey Bly, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I will see you all next time around. Bye for now.